Samuel Little was serving three consecutive sentences. He confessed to murdering 93 people. That's more than Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer combined. What happened to Karen just doesn't happen every day. She's obviously got in a car with someone and it's all gone wrong from there. Karen could possibly have been Malat's first victim. He murdered seven backpackers in the 1990s. Australia's most notorious killer. Malat is a psychopath. He is a textbook psychopath. But Ivan Malat had even darker secrets. This is the untold story of Ivan Malat. Now, two of Australia's top criminal investigators asked the question. Were the Belangelo Seven Malat's only murders? Dozens of other victims, many more killing fields. This is going to shock a lot of people. Where are his other hunting grounds? How many more did he kill? This is a horrifying list of potential victims. His most prolific serial killer may have been caught. Cops arrested 72-year-old John Floyd Thomas Jr., West Side rapist who raped and killed 30 women. The murder victims in all cases under review were older white women, most of them lower income widows living alone. Samuel Little murdered nearly a hundred people. So how does Sam Little get away with this for three and a half decades? This is evil. This guy's evil. Zebra killers is dead. This is J.C.X. Simon. White people shot down by a black gunman. The first victims, a young couple kidnapped in Telegraph Hill. They eventually uh, decapitated her. More than a dozen other people had been butchered or shot. People were scared to go out at night. Composite sketches finally broke the case. The three surviving zebra killers remain in prison. Colin Ferguson fired off 30 shots into a crowded Long Island bound train, killing six people and leaving 19 injured. Combati was shot in the hip. 